Open Heavens on the Go, Saturday, June 26, 2021. Topic, Run with Patience. Memory Verse, Hebrews 12, 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12.1 Bible reading Matthew 4, 1-4 then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The message. A common weak point in the lives of many believers is impatience. Unfortunately, the devil exploits this. This is why the devil tempts believers to turn stone to bread, meaning that he tries to get them to rush ahead in life without waiting for God's time and provision. When this happens, the believer must react like Jesus in Matthew 4.4 4 by saying, Man shall not live by bread alone. Sadly, not many believers are able to do this. We have seen married people go out of their way in search of the fruit of the womb despite the numerous Bible passages that enjoin us to patiently run the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12.1 Joseph waited patiently for the fulfillment of his dream and was rewarded. Two years after he interpreted the butler's dream, he was still waiting. At the fullness of time, Genesis 41 1 says, And it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh dreamed. The scripture above speaks volumes, and our understanding of its depth will give us a long way to cure us of the spiritual disease of impatience. And it came to pass, it does not matter how terrible. The situation a child of God is passing through is the promise of God is that it shall not last forever. Rather, the breakthrough shall come to pass. Psalm 30 verse 5 confirms this. On this subject of patience, Jesus said in John 16, 20 and 22, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. And ye shall be sorrowful, but your joy shall be turned into joy. Yea, now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. Jesus knows what we will encounter in our walk with God, that was why he already prayed for us in John 17, 15, and 16. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Beloved, you must keep on looking unto Jesus, who, though tempted, endured everything for our sake, as he was victorious, so shall you also be in the mighty name of Jesus. We are more than conquerors. Romans 8, 37 Prayer point Lord, please see me through the challenges of life. 
help me arrive safely at the bosom of the Lord Jesus on the last day. Bible reading in one year. Psalms 36 to 39. Hymn for today. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.